Hey content creators, welcome back to the channel. My name is Wesley Cable from WesleyCable.com and I get a lot of requests from my clients to optimize articles that they've written for SEO. Now sometimes these are articles that they just wrote and they want them optimized or maybe they're articles that were written years ago and were ranking but now they're not ranking anymore and they need to be updated. So I'm going to show you my exact process using Surfer SEO and Jasper to optimize those articles and get them back ranking where they used to be. Now this video is going to be a few minutes long. It's, it's going to be a little bit longer, but I think it's important for me to show you what I do and why I do it. I think it'll really help you in optimizing any future articles. Let's get started. All right, so tonight I got an article from a client and it's called the 13 best outdoor refrigerators for 2022. This is a pretty common article that I will get from a client. They just want me to optimize it, and so I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Now, what I've done first is I've loaded the article into Jasper, and I do that because I'm going to then add Surfer SEO, and I can work both tools at the same time, which is really powerful. So I'm going to go up here to the top, and you can see that there's three buttons here. Uh, one of them is SEO mode, and you can see that it is actually the Surfer SEO logo. So if you have the two and you've linked them together, you're going to have this button and all you have to do is click on this button and it's going to open up Surfer SEO for you. So there it is. You can see on the left hand side we've got Surfer SEO, on the right we've got Jasper. So now we can use these tools together and it's an awesome combination. So let me walk through Surfer, what I see on that side first and tell you what all of this stuff is so that you know when you're optimizing an article what's important and what's not and then we'll go over and work on the article. So the first thing I see over here is this is the content editor program in Surfer SEO. It's probably my favorite tool in Surfer SEO because you get amazing results and it really helps you write really good SEO optimized content, okay? So this is an existing article. If we had no article here and we were just starting from scratch, then the Surfer content score here would be zero and all of these words would be just sitting here ready for us to use. But because this is an article that, that's already been written and we're just gonna fix it, uh, some of this stuff is already here. So you're gonna notice right here by the American flag is the keyword that this article is written for. So as you know, when you write an SEO optimized article, you pick one keyword that you want to optimize in that particular article so that you wanna rank for that keyword. So in this case, we've got best outdoor refrigerator. That's our keyword that we're gonna to try to rank using these tools. Now the American flag here, it just means that we're trying to optimize it and we're trying to rank this keyword in the US. If this was in another country, you could change this. If you're trying to rank it maybe in Ireland or something, you could change that and that will change it right here and you'll be trying to rank it somewhere else. So the next thing we're gonna look at here is the content score. So this is a really cool feature about Surfer SEO is it is a real time content score based on the article on the right hand side. So it's telling us right now that this particular article as written is a 58 out of 100. Okay. Now, how do you know if that's good or not? Well, the guidelines for surfers say that you want to be in the 70s, which would put you in the green here. As you can see, if I put my mouse over it, it kind of gives you some guidance there. If you're in the 70s, that's a good place to start. So if you just write a new article and you get it into the 70s, you just want to go ahead and post it onto your blog or your website to see how it does. You don't want to spend a bunch of time optimizing it to get a higher score if it's never going to rank because you just wasted a bunch of time for that's not necessary. So get it into the 70s, go ahead and post it to your blog, and as it starts to rank and the keyword starts to rank and you start moving up the SERPs, then what you want to do is you want to come in here and maybe re-optimize it a little bit more to, you know, to increase the rankings and give yourself a chance to be, you know, in those top three positions. So a couple of details that are important here on the Surfer screen. So you can see here it says average of 65. That means that Surfer has taken the top 10 articles optimized for this keyword, best outdoor refrigerator, and it's averaged the surfer scores for all of them. So the average surfer score for the top 10 is only a 65, okay? We're at a 58 right now, which means that we don't have much to do in order to get to a 65 and kind of be where everybody else is. So that gives me confidence that we should be able to beat a lot of the competition. Now, the next one here says the top. So of all the top 10 articles for this keyword, 
the top surfer score, not necessarily the top article, but the top surfer score is a 91. So what I like to do for my clients when I'm re-optimizing or optimizing an article is I want to try to beat the top score. I want to have the best surfer score of any of the competition because that gives me a better chance to beat everyone else for this keyword. Now, obviously, as you know, there's more that goes into it than just a surfer score when it comes to ranking with like backlinks and all kinds of other things. But at least I'm giving myself a chance if I, um, you know, if I can beat that. So my goal for this article is let's see if we can get it to a 92. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the details. So right here, it gives you some details as far as how your article is currently constructed. So the structure is means the word count and the paragraphs. And if you look right here, it says that the competition's average word count for their article is 3,000 to 3,455. Our article is at 1,700 words. This little red arrow is telling us that we need to add words to this article to help it move up in content score as well as in the ranks. So we're definitely going to want to add some more words. The other part of structure is paragraphs. So right now we've got 46. We need 48. So we're easily going to be able to meet that. But as we move that up, that will only help our structure. Okay. Headings is the next one here. So headings are really important. Obviously you want to have your H1, you want to have H2s, you want to have, you know, some H3s if it's necessary, but this is telling us we want between 30 and 77 headings. And right now we have 25. So we've got some work to do on the headings and I'll show you how we do that in just a second. The next thing here that we want to look at is images. So images also impact the structure. So right now this this article has zero images and it's probably contributing to why it's scoring so poorly. As you add some images, it really will change the score quite a bit. And what I try to do, just a little tip, is I try to get the best surfer score I can without adding images. Because I already know that by adding images, I'm going to get a better score. So I just want to make sure that the content is. So for this particular article, I'm going to try to get as close as I can to a 92 without adding any any images just to see if I can do it. And that's kind of the guideline that I go from, and it seems to work. So the the last thing here is the terms and NLP. Now NLP stands for natural language processing. Okay. So if we go down here, you can see this big list of a bunch of words and word phrases here. These are words and word phrases that the competition is using that we need to put in our article if we want to move it up the rankings, okay? So the suggestion is by Surfer, it tells us the word phrase, it tells us how many times we should use it, and this is kind of a guideline for us for creating or optimizing our article. Now, it doesn't do us any good to put all of these words in our article because it's not going to sound right. It'll take you forever to fit them in the right way. So I don't suggest that you do that. But let's go over what the colors mean and you can determine, uh, you'll get a little bit more detail about how this works. So let's talk about the green first. So let me back up and tell you that there's a little secret that I don't think a lot of people know when it comes to using Surfer SEO is these top words, whatever's in these top few rows, those are the most important words to the article. So if we use a lot of these words, but we don't use a lot of the ones at the bottom, our score is going to be a lot better. If we were just to go down here to the bottom and just make sure that we got like some of these uh, lower words down here, our score is not going to go up as high. So we really want to focus on the words at the top. Now, the very most important word is this one here, the best outdoor refrigerator. That They're telling us that that is the most important. So we absolutely want to make sure that we use that somewhere in our content. So now let's go over the colors. So the green color means that we've met the guideline for that particular word or word phrase. So you can see here that Surfer is recommending between two and five times. We used best outdoor refrigerator. We've used it three times according to this in this article. So we're good. It's green. We don't need to add any more of that. We don't, you know, we're fine on that phrase. Okay. Same with outdoor refrigerator. Now, Coming over to the orange, the orange means that we've used it sometime, but we didn't use it the optimal level. So you can see here that we can use this or the recommendation is between nine and 24 times, and we've only used it seven, okay? Now it's orange, which means we've used it, 
but it's not green. Now, it doesn't need to be green, so that doesn't mean that we want to add two more just to add two more. If it makes sense, we'll do that, but we're fine. If it's orange, that means we've used it and it's okay. All right. What we don't want is these pink ones here. And I can just tell you by looking at this based on my experience with Surfer, if you have these pink ones here, these are really valuable words that are really going to impact your score and your optimization. And these aren't used, which means that if we add these, it's really going to make a difference in our content score. So pink just means, for example, adjustable shelves. The recommendation is two to seven times. We've used it zero times. We want to make sure that we add that into our article. So that's what these NLP words are for. They're actually a really good uh, gauge, uh, and it's a great tool for mixing it into your article. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we're just going to throw these in here anywhere that don't make sense. The goal of optimizing an article is writing it not only for the search engine, but also for, for the human, for the reader. And so it has to make sense. So we're going to have to carefully place these words into our article in order to optimize it and to make our clients happy. So that's kind of an overview of what we're looking at over here on the surfer side. So now we're going to work on actually optimizing the article. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is just the power of these NLP words. So like I said before, we've got some pink up here, which means these are really important words we want in our content, but they're not in our content. So I'm going to show you just a little tip that I use to find out how important these words really are. So I'm just going to go over to our Jasper article, and I'm just going to start right here, and I'm going to start typing in those words. I'm not going to type all of them, but I'm just going to type in a few so we can see how they impact our score. And this is really what I do when I'm optimizing an article because it'll tell me what is it that I really need to do to get this surfer score where I want it and where I want it optimized. This will tell me that. So I'm just going to type in a few of these words. So let me do that, and let's see what happens. Okay, so all I've done so far is just type in two words. I typed in stainless steel door and indoor and outdoor refrigerators, which were in my NLP list, and they're at the top. And you can see we already went from a 58 to a 63 by just typing those in. So let's add a few more and see if we can get that higher. And sorry about my typing. I'm not the best at typing. I'm doing the best I can here. But so let me add these words here. Let me try premium outdoor refrigerator. And remember, I'm just adding the ones that are in pink. I'm not trying to add any of the other ones, but I'm just adding the ones we haven't used yet. Okay, let me just try a couple more here. Other. Ah, outdoor reef. Okay, maybe I'll just, I'll just leave it at that for now. So as you can see, the only thing I did was I just typed into a paragraph some of these words that were missing over here into our content to see how it impacts the score. Now, as you can see, we've gone up 20 points in our surfer score by just adding these words to our article. So, that, so what I'll do now is I know that these words here on the right are super, super important to the surfer score. So eventually I will find a home for these words within this article. And of course it has to make sense. Uh, but these are all words that have to do with these refrigerators. So that won't be hard. But I will go ahead and do that. And I know that I'm already going to be at a 78. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at on this optimization of this article here is the paragraphs. So we've got 40, let's see, right now we have 47 paragraphs. Uh, we need 48. So this is pretty easy. And if you do SEO writing, you know that Google likes to see content that's broken up. It doesn't like really long, lengthy paragraphs with a bunch of text because 
it you know it doesn't do well in in SEO as well as clients who pull up this article they're not going to want to read a whole wall full of text so you got to break it up and that's what is surfer is telling us here is we got to break this up into paragraphs so what I'll do is I'll just run through here and I'll just add some paragraphs you know just breaking it up a little bit here so that it's not you know a big wall of text and it's a little bit more user friendly so I'll do that and that doesn't take long you know we could do that you know in a couple of minutes and uh, let me see maybe here like I said just breaking it up a little bit it just makes it a little bit easier for the client whoever or the customer whoever is going to be reading this and We'll just whip through here real quick and do this. You know, there's really no rhyme or reason. It doesn't have to be. I mean, just break up the text a little bit. You don't have to, you know, think about it too much. Remember, we're not trying to spend five hours here uh, optimizing this one article. So there we go. So I just broke it up a little bit. If you look over here, we're supposed to have 48 paragraphs. We have 57, so we're fine on paragraphs. So as you can see over here, our structure score is still 14 because we really do have to add some content, which we're going to do in just a second. So let's get started on that. So we have to add content. So I get a lot of people who ask me, what's the best way to add content to an article? Okay, And I will tell you, my favorite two things to do for adding content, one is a conclusion or a final you know, kind of a final thought paragraph. Those are easy ways to kind of get some more content in there. And it kind of sums up the article for the reader. Also, you can include a, a um, call to action down there. So that's kind of nice. So when they get down to the bottom, you kind of tell them, you know, where they go from there. So this particular article, it doesn't have that. And so that's one place that we can easily add some content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the power of Jasper to add my final uh, paragraph. Now we also need headings, so this will help in headings as well. So I'm going to put, I like to call it, you know, final thought. So let me just put final thought here. And what I want to do is turn this into a heading because we need headings. And I like to use an H2 for my final thought. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to tell Jasper what I want. So I'm going to tell Jasper to write me a conclusion paragraph that's compelling for this particular article. And what it's going to do is Jasper is going to read all of this up here, and it's going to know what to write based on all of this other content. So it's beautiful. It's going to summarize everything nicely for us. So I'm just going to tell Jasper what I want. So I'm going to say write a compelling closing paragraph for this post. Now, I can also tell it if I want to put in some keywords. So now over here in our in our NLP words section, you can see that there's a bunch of words that we're missing that we haven't added yet. So we can just tell Jasper, hey, in our closing paragraph, we want to add a couple of these words and Jasper will do its best to add those words. Now, it's not always going to add all the words that you want, but if they're if they're kind of matching and they will fit in a closing paragraph, then Jasper does a good job about adding it. So I'm just going to add, uh, let's see, I'm going to tell it to use outdoor use and maybe, uh, let's see, I don't know. I know there's a lot of a lot of choices here. So how about this? I'm going to add top outdoor refrigerators and outdoor use. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to tell Jasper, write a compelling closing paragraph for this post and use keywords, outdoor use, and um, top outdoor top outdoor refrigerators. Okay, perfect. So then I'm just going to hit control enter and I'm going to let Jasper do its magic, okay? Okay. So as you can see, it put together this little paragraph here. It's final thought. It says when it comes to outdoor refrigerators, you have a lot of different options to choose from. You can select the best one for your needs by considering the factors we've discussed in this post. Whether you need an appliance that can withstand extreme temperatures or one that is low maintenance, there is an outdoor refrigerator perfect for your home and lifestyle. So that's fine. That actually sounds pretty good. And you can see that it increased our score a little bit over here by adding some of those words and some more content. I may 
add some more to this later if I need to. Um, I don't have a call of act. I'm um, sorry, a um, call to action here, so I can add that if I want to. But I'm happy with how this looks. So now we have to figure out where else to add content. Now the other, f my other favorite place or other way to add content is frequently asked questions. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add, and I like to do it right before final thought. So I'm going to put frequent you know, FAQ for short, and I can go in and change it if I want to later. And I'm going to put this as an H2 for FAQ, and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter here. So now we have to come up with some questions, and that's where Jasper comes in really handy again, and I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm going to go over here at the top of the screen, and there's something called power mode. Now power mode will take us out of SEO mode for a minute, but it'll give us power mode, which allows us to access all the other templates that Jasper has to offer while we're writing our current article. So the one I like for this is I will go down to, I think there's a new template for questions. Okay, so this is it right here. So this is called the FAQ generator, okay? So our topic, and I'm just going to put in best outdoor re refrigerator okay um, and the tone of voice what kind of tone of voice do I want these questions I'm just gonna put uh, informative for this example okay how many questions do we want I've heard the rumor that if you use five or six you get the best results so I'm just gonna put five so we get five questions now Jasper wants to know how many outputs do you want here so I'm just gonna leave it at three and let's see what it comes up with. So it's going to look and it's going to come up with some questions. So here it is. Here are some questions that we can use. So what are the benefits of outdoor refrigerator? How do I choose the best outdoor refrigerator for my needs? What are some features to look for in an outdoor refrigerator, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So I will just go through these questions, pick the best ones that I want and add them to my article. Now for just for argument's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and add these. I'm just going to go ahead and click here and it's going to add them to my article, but I want to add them actually right here. So this little carrot or double thing here, you click on that and it goes ahead and adds it to your article. Now, I usually like, if this is going to be an F H, I'm sorry, an H2, I like to change these to H3s. That gives us more headings, which we need in our article anyway. And so I'm just going to just copy and just change these all to H3s. Okay, so now we've got our FAQ, we've got some more content. Let's see, we'll go back to Surfer to see if it increased our score at all. And so far we're still at a 79. But we did increase our headings and we're almost to where we want to be with headings. Now we have to answer these questions. And that's another thing that we can use Jasper for. Okay, so what I'll do is I will go back to power mode on Jasper. And I will go over to commands. Now commands is a really cool feature because all it does is it just tells you, you know, you just tell it what you want and it'll spit out what it is that you want. Okay, so I'm going to just tell Jasper up here, I'm going to say, write a compelling answer to the following question. Okay, and I'm going to hit a colon there. I'm going to copy my first question here, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in here, and that's it. That's all I got to do. And I will also leave the outputs at three because I want to get three selections that I can choose from. So let's see what Jasper comes up with. So I'm going to click Generate Answers, and here's what it says. Slowly but surely, we're going to get some answers here for this. Okay, so now we have our answers, okay, to this question. Now you can see here that Jasper put out a ton of content here for this particular question. It goes into deep details about all kinds of things. So just for time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this over here. That answers my question. It gives us more content that we want. And I'm going to do the same thing for these other few questions. So I'm just going to copy this question. And I'm going to go over here and put that in. And I'm going to generate some AI content here. Now, why that's doing that, 
I don't want you to think that I'm just going to leave this as it is. I'm not. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to comb through this and I'm going to make sure that the details are correct. I want to make sure that it's exactly what I want it to say. But this just gives me a placeholder and something that I can work off of for answering this question. So here we go. Here's another one. Um, this first selection gives me some more you know, some kind of a, options here. So maybe I like this. So I'm just going to put that right into my article by just clicking on that. Um, let's do that for the next one. And let me just knock this out real quick so we can see where we're at. And so I'll do this for all five of these questions just as a, a good example. So I'm not even going to read these just for, uh, for time's sake. I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this question. And this is what's great about Jasper is you could just tell it what you want. Like you can talk to it like a human being and say, hey, this is what I want. And it's going to do what you want, which is super cool. And that's what's different about Jasper that compared to other AI writers is a lot of them just don't have this kind of speciality or flexibility like this, this uh, program does. So let me just finish this up real quick. And I, I'm not going to read this for time's sake. I'm just going to go ahead and add this here. And then I'll go to my last one. Okay, let's add that one in. Now, if you don't use Jasper or Surfer, you can see how easy these tools are to use and you can see how, how quickly you can get some really awesome content. I'm gonna leave some links down in the notes. Just click on those links. I think Jasper's given away 10,000 free credits, so you can actually just kind of try this out on your own for free. Just click on that link, go to Jasper and do that. And I believe if you do that through Jasper, you also get a free month of Surfer, if I remember that correctly. I will make sure of that and I'll put it down in the notes, but uh, so don't quote me on that quite yet, but I think you do. So you really can try these tools out together and kind of optimize your own posts and see how it goes. So I'm gonna just add this in here, and sometimes this happens where it copied in here as a heading. I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. It's not a heading. It's just a regular paragraph. And, and we're good. Okay, so we've got five frequently asked questions. We've got five answers with a lot of content. And we've got our conclusion paragraph. So let's go back to Surfer and see where we're at on our SEO mode. Okay, so we're still at 79. Now this happens sometimes, like maybe these two aren't talking because you can see right here that our word count is 1800. We just added a ton of content, so I know it's more than 1800. So all you have to do is just go up here and just refresh it. So I'll just refresh the screen just like this. And both of these will refresh and we'll get a current surfer score. And let's see where we're at right now. Hopefully. Come on now. Of course, the internet's not working now. Oh, come on. I just fucking did a shit on you. Damn it. Okay, sorry about that. We just had a little technology glitch there. The old internet wasn't working right. So anyway, you can see that now we're at an 82 surfer score. So all we did was we just added some keywords here. We've added some paragraphs. We added some more of our headings down here by adding a frequently asked question section. And we added a closing paragraph. And right now, everything is looking really good. We're at an 82 score already and we have no images. We're gonna try to get to that 91. So for time's sake, I'm just gonna throw in some images and let's see if we can get this to what, you know, to our goal. So I'm, there's no rhyme or reason for these images at least at this point. And we'll go in and fix them in just a second. So let's add an image there. Okay, so we're already at an 87, we just added an image, okay? So let's just add one here. And obviously these are not gonna remain here when we're done but it'll give us a good idea of you know, what we're looking at. So we'll add that one. I'll just add a couple more here. Oops, sorry. Go here. Let's add another one here. 
And I downloaded these earlier just to make it easy so you don't have to search for, for these. I usually use Canva for all of my graphics because they're awesome. You can customize them. Um, you know, they look really good and all that. So that's usually where I get them. So let's just add this one. Okay. So right now, all we've done is we added some keywords. We added some more content through through help with the help of Jasper. We added a closing paragraph. We added some headings and we just threw in four images, okay? We're already at an 89 surfer score. So you can see that you don't have to rewrite this whole thing. You don't have to spend a ton of time on it to to optimize it. Now, I personally do that for my clients. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to clean up all these details. I'm going to make sure these links are right. I'm going to make sure all of, you know, all of this stuff is uniform. I'm going to do all that for my client. I'm going to add all these keywords in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to sit here and let and have you guys watch me do that. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use Surfer to optimize an article. It really is. Okay, so I went ahead and optimized the article off camera so that we didn't have to waste a bunch of time. So let's take a look and see exactly what the finished product looks like. I think you're going to be impressed. Okay, so here's the final article on the screen here. So I reduced it down to the 10 best outdoor refrigerators. And the reason I did that is because a few of the refrigerators that were on here were not even refrigerators at all. And so I really went in and took the time to clean up all those details. Now, this optimization took me longer than it normally does. And the reason is because there was a lot of missing details here and a lot of this information was incorrect. So I really had to do some research to make sure that I had all the correct information. So I'm really happy with this article. It's now at a 94. When we started, it was a 58 and it was a total mess. And now we're at a 94. So I really feel confident that I can post this article and we can see some good results with it. So, with it. so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post this article and then I'm going to keep you guys up to date on how it's doing, its performance, and I'm going to watch it move up the SERPs. And I'm really excited to do that. All right, so that's the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you got a little bit out of this and seeing how easy it can be using Surfer SEO and Jasper to optimize your article. So if you have clients with older blogs and they have articles that just need to be updated, this is an awesome process to go through and it's fast and it really does get amazing results. So I will put some links down in the notes so you can take advantage of some free offers that Surfer and Jasper have for each other. And I really recommend just get in there and try them out for yourselves and see how amazing that it can be. If you have any questions about optimizing articles, please let me know. If you have any articles that you want optimized, I'd be happy to help you. Just get in contact with me through the site, and I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you very much for listening. Please like this video so more people can see it, and subscribe if you want to see additional videos. Thank you very much.